Uh, you're not filming this, are you? Absolutely. You are? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Final show, yeah, yeah, yeah. A five, a five show uh, tour that I did in Adelaide. Yeah, and tonight was like a jet. Tonight was like the end of it all. It was a, a great. These guys hadn't played with me ever before. No, no, no. It's uh, Sweet Baby James. Sweet Baby James I mean, and, and Rob Arrows had never played with me before, but they're great and they uh, they they suck, sucked right into it. People don't realise, people think of blues, they don't realise blues breaks up into a whole lot of sub-genres. Yeah. So, that you know, there's country blues, there's delta blues, there's blues rock, there's jump blues, there's west coast blues, there's just so many different styles. Mm. But unless you know really a lot about the music, you can't necessarily identify those styles. And what sub-genre is John L. Walker, would you say? Well, a lot of people say He's blues rock. Um, I would call him contemporary blues. certainly original blues and um, a lot of artists today find it very hard to come up with original material. I find time and time again I get sent CDs and it's all songs I've heard so many times before and I groan. <laughs> um, but when I first heard John Earl Walker's albums I thought well here's a guy doing original music, has a great sound on his guitar so I was was quite impressed. <laughs> Let's take it home. Semaphore really, was a beautiful really effect. That night, didn't you? And you took it from some, something that was pretty sort of nothing really happening as well. Yeah, we really uh, had a great time with everyone dancing and, well, and me along with them. But you made them dance. You oh, made thank them you. dance and that's the thing. <laughs> you know, and that's not an easy thing to do, is it? No, I no. Mean, it's the hard thing. That's the professional thing, I guess. Well, you have to, you have to want to uh, make people have fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Tough place to play. 
I don't think I've ever seen a couple of bands play at the Semaphore RSL, and um, it's it's certainly the width of the room and etc. But I, I think someone like that just plays. They just turn up and play, and 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 well, if it's it's not that tough because there's no career breaker, as you know. But at the same time, there's a pride in, in the presentation that was obvious through the night. And, um, and I, but I don't think there was ever anything to worry about. Everybody was there. I'm sure was impressed, and and. Um, you know the stuff he laced together was uh, was certainly you know very much cream blues. And he just blew me away. I thought mm -hmm. you know he's just got a great sound on his guitar, and uh, um, those years of experience really come across because he's been playing for 46 years. <laughs> So he turns up here and um, with musicians that haven't uh, played with him ever before um, and there's a common thread there and he takes them, uh, leads them on a bit of a, a journey which they're quite capable and I think one of the good things about Adelaide's bl blues musicians is because um, there's so many influences there rather than just regional, they can sort of tap into anything and uh, you watched um, you know, Sav play off him, and uh, Frank play off him, and Trapper play off him, and and um, they just looking at each other, and they didn't need to rehearse too much. They only had um, two rehearsals, um, one with Sav and one as a trio, because they ended up on the Sunday at the Wine Underground doing that gig as a trio, because we couldn't find a, a rhythm guitarist to fit in. Sav did a great job on the first two gigs. And Savis, I, I knew he would be a great rhythm guitarist, having seen him many times with the Streamliners. Um, of course, he can play good leads as well. Um, but he just, he, because he's so good, he's in demand, and he just wasn't available on those other gigs. We, we managed to get Nick Capridis on the, um, the third gig at the Rex Hotel, and he did a good job as well. But again, not available uh, on the other gigs, so... Uh, so they decided to do it as a trio and that worked really well as well and people seemed happy with that. So mm. so basically he did five gigs with uh, four different lineups. Mm. Only two mm. were with the same lineup. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So when, when's the point at which you know that you've got the audience? Well, you could just feel when, uh, you could just feel it. And like in Germany, just walked out and they were like, you know what I mean? It was that electrifying. Mm. There's a certain vibe, you know, that you just know. And that's what you do it for. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Thank you very much, John. All right, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. I swear I'll change my ways. You see, those girls didn't mean nothing to me. I never loved them anyway. So let me back in, and I'll be good to you every day. people who, are, uh, who pay attention and listen to you know, good advice about what's around the place or might listen to the radio and pick up that this guy's in town um, and head along are going to be rewarded and I, 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 it, made, it sort of made me aware that I'm probably missing a lot, a lot of stuff because I'm not watching closely enough and there'd be other people that are well worth encountering uh, and going to see. But you can go out any weekend and guaranteed you're going to see something pretty good if you know where to go. Absolutely. Fantastic. Mm. Steve, thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sweet baby James. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, Frank Lang and Rob Ayers. And thank you, Weekly, for having me. Great, great to be here with y'all. Hope to come back again next year and do it again. John Walker, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from New York City. How about it? Get him into the workers club. Well, I was and hoping we would, yes, yeah. because he got a great response there oh, when he, he jammed it. last time, yeah. yeah. But Dave, for some reason, wasn't happy about the fact that it was what what you might some people might call a pickup band. It wasn't him with his band. Mm -hmm. He was worried that perhaps uh, they'd just be pl having to play all easy material, so the band was stuff the band knew, which actually was not the case. I mean, one of the comments after that. Uh, semaphore RSL gig someone said he really mixed up the material really well it, it certainly there was a bit of everything in there as far as blues goes